So I'm waiting tables now, again. Woo! Yeah. But I'm working at like a fancier place, and I've never done that before. I've always worked at like cafes and like family places, and I hate it. The tips are really good, but people are such pricks. Like they just expect so much. And I started talking. You ever talk when you're on stage and you're talking and you think you're going somewhere, but you're not going anywhere? And you float up from your body and you're looking at yourself and you're going, where are you going with this new waiting tables material? <laughs> you haven't written anything new about the waiting tables material. <laughs> Do you think this is, you're just magically going to be hilarious? You're fucking <laughs> That's what just happened. I don't know if you guys, I'm up there right now. I'm just flipping myself off. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. But I'm mad because... <laughs> Because I, I I've been waiting tables for 13 years. That will make you that will make you bitter. Because like people just their IQs drop when they walk into a restaurant. Like, I worked in restaurants where like people like well, I had a patio seating and they would come in from outside. They go hi. I'm like hi. Two for dinner. They're like yeah. I'm like inside or outside. They're like what's it like out there? <laughs> well, where did where did you come from? <laughs> Beamed off the Enterprise. <laughs> you, you, you were there two seconds ago. You know better than I do. <laughs> or people that are just rude. Like that's the thing that just I can't understand. People that are just they just go out to be rude, like for no reason. Like you walk up to the table. Like I put the fake fucking happy face on, and I'm like, hey, I'm really glad I'm serving you fucking food. You know. <laughs> I'm like, hey, how are you guys doing tonight? Coffee. Whoa. Hey. Sounds like you're doing pretty good. Was it coffee? Are you sure? Because that's going to burn a little bit when I accidentally spill that on you. <laughs> well, that, that's, or you get the, just the guys that are obnoxiously over the top, like they think they're the biggest jokesters. They tell you jokes you've heard a million times if you've waited tables for a week. And like, it'll come in, the guy, the guy will be like, hi, how are you guys doing? They're like businessmen or something, they're obviously on a lunch break or whatever. It's like, can I get you guys something to drink? Yeah, I'm a jack on the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's oh! I see you're joking. That's funny because you're working. You can't have a Jack on the Rocks. Very funny. Very funny. Oh, iced tea. Okay, iced tea. All right. <laughs> Jokester. And then you come back and they get their food and whatever they're eating. And you're like, "How is everything?" They're like, "It's good." You're a good cook. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, "Oh, that's funny because I'm the waiter, not the cook. That's great. You are on a roll, sir. You are smoking." But then the last one, the one you hear the most, when they have an empty plate, it's like lit clean, there's not a morsel left, and they hand you the plate and they go, here you go. I didn't like it. <laughs> oh, that's like you did like it, because you licked it clean like a pig. Oh my God. You're on fire tonight, sir. <laughs> the worst thing I got is, the, the good thing about a high-end restaurant, though, is they don't do a birthday song. There's no high-end people that want their birthday sang to them, but any other like fucking place I've worked, they always want people to sing, but they never understood. You know, it's like that's a wacky gag you do to your friend. Have the way you sing to it. <laughs> it's always the same people do. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, Karen. <laughs> Don't have them sing. No, we're not. We won't. <laughs> it always sucks if you're the waiter because it always happens at the worst times. You're totally busy. You have like a tray of drinks in your hand. You're sweating, and some joker walks up to you and goes. The guy at our table in the blue shirt. It's his birthday. I was gonna be like, hey. I don't give a fuck. He's your friend. You sing to him. I'll bring you a free fucking cannoli. How's that deal? The best place, best place I ever worked, this was the birthday song. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. <laughs> that was the best place to work because you get people to do that. Because when you, because you also when you're working and you're busy, you have to get other waiters to come sing with you. Guys, I got a birthday. Fuck you. No, I'm not singing. Fuck, I got a birthday. Guys, I got a birthday. So you're there with like one other person who actually is way too into it, and they're like, oh, Happy birthday! Okay, you know what? <laughs> I didn't move to LA to be a singer, but this, that, this is not the place to audition for table 18. They're not going to fucking put you on American Idol. Just apathetically singing like I am? Like, come on. I remember a long time ago I heard, I found out later this was a myth. I actually found this out on stage that this was a myth. But I, you know, acronyms people say are false, but they say like tips came from to ensure proper service, which I believe, like people used to tip before the meal. Apparently that's not true, according to some cunt that was sitting in the front row. <laughs> but I started 
started doing that bitch. He goes, that's an urban myth. <laughs> it's not true. Look it up. I was like, thanks. Can you tell me that when I get off stage? In the middle of the bit? Uh, <laughs> but I thought that'd be awesome if people tip before the meal. It would change everything. Can you imagine that? Like you walk up to a table, you're like, hi, how are you guys doing? Um, how much are you tipping? <laughs> One dollar. All right, um, then we're gonna start over. Okay, all right. How the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> fucking on my third double, my fucking balls are sweating. You should, you, if you smell this when I get off work, you fucking pass out. So, you, what do you guys want? You guys, what can I get for you? What, what's that? Oh, the specials? Oh yeah, I can tell you the specials, but you know what? Honestly, they're not that special, and neither are you. That's the truth. <laughs> what's that? The soup of the day? Oh, I just checked. What was it? I always forget. Oh well, yeah, it was a uh, cream of who fucking cares. That's the soup of the day. <laughs> what's that? You want something to drink? Oh yeah. Well, the soda machine's over there. Cups are next to it. Figure it out. I'll be outside out of a smoke. <laughs> I mean, I always wanted to come. I always wanted to come to a table with a cigarette in my mouth. Like, <laughs> you guys ready to order? <laughs> You drinking that water? You are? Thanks. <laughs> okay, I'll start with you, sir. What can I get you? Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pass. What about you, ma'am? What about you? Come on, what about you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pass. You? Pass.